We turn now to the fight against coronavirus here in Utah, where again, we are seeing those state numbers heading in the wrong direction. Health officials confirming 906 new cases, the rolling seven day average still well above Governor Herbert's goal of 400 with more than 1000 cases per day. This comes with two more deaths, the total now standing at 459. State leaders were underprepared for the COVID-19 pandemic and responses was hindered by an unclear chain of command. That's according to a new report from the state auditor today. The report also looks at the numerous no bid contracts out there. And while it says the purchases were reasonable, there were a lot of missteps. Early January, the state started mobilizing to monitor and coordinate a response to the emerging coronavirus. The state's auditor, John Dougal, says Utah leaders should have been more prepared to handle the pandemic. The state had not adequately prepared for a pandemic, uh, despite having recognized it as one of the uh, hazards that Utahns were facing. Back in May, the KSL investigators uncovered more than $67 million spent on contracts to aid pandemic response. Things like the $6 million Healthy Together app. The audit says a big selling point for this app was its location tracking function. But decision makers should have discussed Utah's culture and likely scenarios before signing. The key thing that the governor's office felt was important was location data. And we questioned to what extent Utahns really wanted the government tracking their locations, where they'd been, who they'd been in contact with. The report states the Utah Department of Health could have developed an app like Healthy Together for a few hundred thousand dollars, but not fast enough. Ultimately, the Healthy Together app never saw vast amounts of Utahns downloading it or using the tracking piece. So that part was disabled back in July. Dougal says he also saw several instances where getting bids for pricing were never put into writing, just agreed to verbally. In some situations, there were just no notes. Dougal does say some good things here. For instance, PPE purchases were well done and succeeded where other states did not. But overall, Utah should have talked about the way to approach things like contact tracing and supply chains way before March. There's lots of uncertainty with a pandemic, but you can do certain activities to try and prepare for whatever might hit you. And the audit also talks about the purchase of hydroxychloroquine and says no authorization was ever given for that purchase. The report also talks about overspending on testing and poor communication. For a more in-depth look, including the governor's response to this audit, just visit the story on our website, that is ksltv.com.